if you watch the news at all, I'm sure you have heard in the past few weeks on the news about the NAR class action settlement. So basically what they are proposing is that buyer commission doesn't have to be entered into the, our MLS system anymore. This is going to be more transparent, I think, for buyers to understand how their agents get paid. I am primarily a listing agent, and I know when I've been going out on listing appointments, a huge question that I'm getting is, well, do I still have to pay the buyer's agent commission? That's all I've heard on the news is that the seller no longer has to pay the buyer's agent commission. Commissions have always been negotiable. Here in Tennessee, our listing agreements have always spelled out, this is the total amount commission that you're going to pay, and of that, a portion, and it gives you the specific amount, is going to pay the buyer's agent. It's always been negotiable, the amount that you offer. I think some people have always misunderstood that and thought, well, that's what my agent said it was, so I didn't know that I had a choice. You always have a choice. We always say everything in real estate is negotiable. But I have had sellers who have asked me, so do I still have to pay the buyer's commission? That's all I've heard on the news is that I don't have to do this anymore. And what I would tell my sellers, and I have told them this here in the past few weeks, is that you need to think about it from a buyer's standpoint. If you're selling a house in town, think about we are having historically high home sale prices here in Hamlin County. We have jobs here in Hamlin County that the wages are not keeping up with the inflation and the cost of everything. So a lot of times we have home buyers who are scraping together to get their closing cost or their down payment money. They're not going to have the money to pay their agent. So if you want your home to be shown and you want your home to still sell, it's probably to your advantage to offer that buyer's agent commission. That makes sense. And when I say it like that, most of the time my sellers go, well, yeah, I didn't think about it that way. Yeah, that does make sense. And then when I still get resistance, my question to them is, the last time you bought a house, did you pay your buyer's agent directly or did you have the seller pay that? Well, I didn't pay him anything. Exactly. A lot of people say, well, we'll just use the listing agent to write the offer. That is the worst thing that any buyer can do. When I sign paperwork with my sellers, I go over with them. I am their designated agent. I have a fiduciary responsibility to them. My loyalty lies with that seller. So I do have buyers that call me and they're like, hey, I want to go look at your house that you have listed on 123 Banana Street. I may go show them the house, but I'm not going to write that offer for that buyer because I can't represent the buyer's interest and my seller's interest at the same time. It opens me up to liability because that buyer may sign a piece of paper saying, oh yeah, I'm unrepresented, that's fine. But when something goes bad in the transaction, they're going to come back and try to sue. I would encourage sellers, no, you don't have to offer a buyer's agent compensation but why wouldn't you if it's going to help you get the most money out of your home and help you get it sold in the least amount of time?